Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 5th of 2023 well, it is titled Ring of Fire over Monument Valley. So what do we see here? Well, here we see several images of an eclipse that occurred a little over a decade ago, and that was in May of 2012. And these are different images taken during the course of a annular solar eclipse. Now an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun. That's any solar eclipse. But it also occurs while the moon is at apogee or close to apogee. What is that? Well, apogee is the point in the moon's orbit when is in when it is at its greatest distance from Earth. The moon orbits elliptically, and that means sometimes it's closer to Earth. And that is what we call perigee. Sometimes we call that when the full moon occurs the super moon when the moon is a little bit larger and brighter. However, the opposite occurs at apogee. Now the moon is a little bit farther away and will not look quite as big in the sky. Now because of that and because the moon and the sun are very close to the same apparent size in the sky, sometimes the moon will not quite block out the sun. So here we see as the sun is setting, you can see in the uppermost image the entire sun. And then you start to see as the moon begins to move in front of the sun, that bigger and bigger bites are taken out of it. And as you head down towards sunset, you see that there is a ring of sunlight still visible. And that's because the moon couldn't quite block out the entire sun. In a total eclipse that would be blocked out completely. And here we actually get to see that there's still a ring of sunlight there. Then as of course the moon continues in its uh, motions, it moves away from the sun and we see the crescent form in the other direction. And in this case, we actually lose the eclipse as the sun sets before the eclipse finished. So the eclipses occur when everything is lined up perfectly and occur about twice a year. We have an eclipse season. And that means that at those times of year, the sun, earth and moon are all lined up together and the conditions for an eclipse are favorable. Now that's coming up again very soon. And in fact, on October the 14th, we will see another ring of fire eclipse from various regions in North Central and South America. So depending on where you happen to be located, you may get to see a ring of fire eclipse such as this. Or if you're not on the direct eclipse path, you may be able to see at least a partial eclipse of the sun, where just a portion of the sun will be blocked out at the maximum extent of the eclipse. And then we do have another eclipse coming up in April of next year. Uh, again across uh, various uh, portions of North America and that one will be a total eclipse that will occur when the moon is closer to Earth in its orbit and it will be able to fully block out the sun. So that was our picture of the day for October 5th of 2023. It was titled Ring of Fire over Monument Valley. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 100th anniversary. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.